So it's building up flavors like crazy. It's going to be all yummy, yummy in everybody's tummy. Do people just share one of share that? Make your own because it's a quart of water and two ounces of vinegar. It's it's fiddly weeks. You know, so everybody's going to, I want everybody, because the hard part about this with the Corbion is poaching. If two people are setting up for poaching, what temperature do we go with poaching? Two. 180. 180. Ideal poaching temperature. Is there any water movement at 180, 160? No. No, tension bubbles, on the little surface. Little bubbles at the bottom. Maybe little bubbles on the bottom. The surface area has some tension on the surface area. Why don't you kiss it? You want to get a close bit to it? Very nice. Uh, Impapio. Let's make the Impapio so where we uh, will make it. Uh, you guys remember Valentine's Day when you were in grade school? Yes. What did you make when you were in Valentine's? Heart. You made paper hearts. Isn't that so special? Uh, we're going to do paper hearts. That's where you cut it on the thing, right? Yeah, right. right. You got to leave the line. You, oh, you. I I, can, I can eyeball it. You, if you need to draw, you by all means draw on your paper heart. But I'm pretty good. I think I can eyeball it. So, go right about there. Push hard, come around. Didn't you do that with scissors, Chef? Yeah, but that means I have to get it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Next one. Kind of. Like a heart. Open it up, it's a heart. It is. Right. I recognize that from. Yeah, this is how I feel for you. Oh. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Isn't that, hey, it's a pretty good looking one too. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll take a little bit of butter. You know, butter's and everything, right? Spread some butter on the. Spread the love. Spread some butter. Love. Spread some butter. Why are we putting butter on it? So it won't stick. So it won't stick. No. No. No flavor. Not for non-stick. It's. It's a parchment paper. It's not going to stick to it anyway. Flavor. flavor, yes. One more thing. Moistness, yeah. A little bit else. One other thing. Okay. So paper covered with butter. Is it going to start on fire? No. It will eventually, but not right away. Compared to if it had no butter. So a little bit of butter. Hey man. <laughs> How's my reduction, Susha? Oh man, that's going good. Don't let it dry out on me. Yeah. Um, all right, so what are we going to put on side of it? Mm. Your fish? Remember your little piece of trout that you have? I had to cut a new one for me. Uh, let's go with this way. I don't want to reach in. Really? It's a white fish. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. What did you say? If you pay attention, you passed. Okay. Good. Salt, pepper, white. You can go black if you want. There, nice seasoned piece of fish. Fold it in half. Put it on the bottom. So now imagine your piece of fish that looks like here. I can I can do this one. Maybe you had a piece of fish that you you know you that's really messed up. There. Like, oh no, that's your piece of fish. Like what the heck are you gonna do with that? Well, you put the bottom piece right there. It's not fair, you can make fun of my fish like that. Oh, I didn't make fun of your fish. It's just reality. <laughs> I knew that was my face. It's, it's reality. It's real. It's just your fish. So there. So that works. You know, just a little mound of fishy fishy right there. It's all going down. You like some shrimp? We have shrimp. I figured, hey, let's do the shrimp. Shrimp. I like shrimp. What else is good on, you know what's good on shrimp? Garlic. Garlic. Mm -hmm. Give yeah. that. Yeah. So we got to put a little garlic here. How's that? Looking good? Yeah. A little bit more. Piece of shrimp right there. A um, little bit of Julian veg. Right there. So now this is something they do on table side service. I had to do dozens of these each night when I was on a line cook because they had this with salmon inside of it. In pop yolk. In pop yolk. And I just thought about let's do some more fun. Mushroom. One mushroom's all you need. 
on the board, Dal. I have no idea. I'm a cook chef. I don't know how to spill. Like the rest of all of us. How do we spill? Do you guys know how to spill Papio? Abbreviation. Pre oh. Yeah. Papi. Paper. Paper. Papi. Papi latte. Beautiful. Pour it off the heat. Beautiful. Off the heat. So let's go walk around. Here we go. So when you get to, what, what's this called? All set. Yes. You betcha. All set, right? So then this is when you add the butter in, right? Yeah. All right, so shortcut or cheater's way. A little bit of cream. How much well, was that? Why is this considered a shortcut or a cheater? Cheater's way because, um, what, does the cream, what does the cream do? Help stabilize it. Helps stabilize it. Helps the, ah. It's a laser, so it's going to stabilize it. So it's going to make it much stronger of an emulsion to go with it. I'm going to wash my hands again because I'm pouring on my bridges. Uh, so, I have mushrooms. I have fish. Always. <laughs> You're so funny. How do you forget that? You guys come here. Come here. Come here. You guys come here. She wasn't, she wasn't doing me at first. So we're just going to heat up the cream a little bit. The chef was washing his hands. I'll put it off the side. Uh, I have celery, carrots, mushroom, uh, pinch of shallots all over the thing. Helps with the sauce. You guys ever made compound butter? Yes. Oh, it's a lovely thing. It's so good. It's good. Compound butter. So what can you put in compound butter? Anything. 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 So what do we got here? What do we want to put into it? Herbs. Herbs. So we got some baked parsley. 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 Thyme. Garlic. Thyme. How about some chunks of compound butter? You need butter. Yeah. Let, let's season the butter. I, 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 Is it ready? Put it off the side. Just keep it warm. Right on this. Right on this thing. There, a little salt. A little pepper. How about some garlic? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That's that. That's that emerald guy. He says that. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, baby, right there. Oh, yeah. Whatever. A little, you know, if you had some time. Pick it up a notch. A little parsley. Clean knife, even though it has fish on it. Yeah, come down. Play, play squishy, squishy. How does it go? Squishy, squishy, squishy. <laughs> no, no, I really don't know. I don't, I don't know how to do this. So let's go. Smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are again on the video. Yeah. <laughs> she made me do it. How many days? What day is this? Monday. 25. 25. 25. So we've gone 53 days together, campers. Yay. Yeah, I think you're right. Cool 50 50 53, 53 days. So does this look good? That looks really good. So let's say we have a grilled steak, mm. and just right when it comes off the grill, you put all of that on there or something. No, you don't put all, no, you don't put all of that on there, just some. Just some. So that's, what's this going to make? That's going to make part of our sauce, mm. and it's going to be yummy, yum. No? What do we call this? Compound, Compound butter. butter. Flavored Black butter. butter. So there's a little bit there. Do we have a little extra white wine there? So a little bit of white wine. Let's put this guy back up here. Because we need some sauce sauce on it. A little bit of wine. You know what also works is uh, melting the butter down with a uh, white brine reduction and then um, slapping it back in the refrigerator. Oh yeah. Well. Have a little lemon juice because fish and lemon go really good together. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> now, how's the cooking method with this guy? Quick steam. Quick steam? Exactly. So, so they have a wooden board or something, is what they say. Well, what if you did it on a cedar plank? You need to seal it up. So with it, we're going to seal it up. Um, wooden board, fine. Sizzle platter, saute pan, hotel pan, half sheet tray, something. The liquid's on the inside. From the top, you fold it. And you fold it again, and you fold again, halfway through that fold, you fold there, halfway again, you fold there, and there, if you get a piece of vegetable stuck in it, oh my, it's not the end of the world, there. Instead of using parchment paper, could you use like the, uh, the cedar sheets that they sell in the grocery store? Yep. Instead of using cheese, cheese uh, it has to be sealed. 
Okay, and then over again. All right, so everyone's been folded over and over and over. Last one, fold the other way around. And there we go. I have the liquid inside there, I have the butter, I have some mixed vegetables, uh, shrimp. There. How long do you cook it for? Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. But how do you know? What temp depends on what temperature oven you have. Until it's done. I tell you, if you put it in a 500 degree oven, it's going to go very fast. That's what happened on A show. I just stuck it in there and I forgot about it. Uh, I'll put it in the 400 degrees when I poach the fish at the same time. My court bouillon's going really, really nice. When doing court, and then I'll finish the butter sauce while the other two are making. Court bouillon is a short broth. We're going to poach it in that liquid. Uh, how many different types of poaching is there? Are there? Two. And which are? Cold and hot. Cold and hot. Okay, then there's. Yeah, there's the um, submerged and then there's. Oh, right. Shallow. So it's about a liquid. So if it's submerged, it's swimming. We're doing the submerged one today. We're going to be, it has to be completely above the food project. So what if we don't have enough? What are we going to do? Add more. Add more water. All right. Bring it up to a nice level. Okay. Uh, if it's, uh, you can do uh, a shallow poach and then again, hot or cold. You can start from the hot water or cold poach. We're going to start from the warm water. If we were poaching the whole pooper off, um, well, let's, let's think about it. We're, we're making a uh, salmon display. You take the aluminum foil, shove the inside of it inside because you don't want it to fall apart. Turn the tail sideways, right? You open up its mouth and put something in its mouth, right? And then you put it on a wire rack and put string going around with the wire rack and you tie the rack up together. Make a couple of handles on the rack because once you get in the water, you got to be able to get it out of there. Uh, wire, like a glazing rack that you use in the pastry shop, or a wire rack that you have. Uh, have it all, have it, have it set up with aluminum foil. It's going to hold itself. Turn it, and then you drop it into cold water. Uh, what pot's going to hold this guy? One of those really big things that they took Yes, your military pan. Your square military pan to work, or it has to be completely covered with that flavorful liquid. The steam kettle works very good. That's what I've done. You, you drop it in, and cold water, bring up all the liquid together, the aromatic vegetables and everything, and then bring it to a simmer. How do you know when it's done? Because you want to cook it all this good. In cold poaching, you're almost always cooking it all the way through. What's fish cook yet? Without being overcooked. Carry overcooking. Oh, no. no. 145 works, but then cook it to 130 because you'll have carryover cooking like crazy. All right. So, uh, butter's going, corn going. Uh, do a quick.